Uh, I was wondering when you were going to get that wall fixed. What wall? The wall in my room. The one with a hole in it. I told you. Put a picture over it. Put a picture over it. I thought you said you were going to get it fixed. Fixed? It is fixed. What do you want me to do? Build you a new wall? A tiny little hole. You couldn't get your finger through it. Fixed. But the problem is, Mr. Bustow, is that anyone in the other room can see into my room. It's just not very nice, that's all. Look, let me tell you two things. First, if you put a picture over the hole, no one can see in. And second, there's no one in the room anyway. The room's empty, all right? When I was your age, I spent three months living under canvas in Yorkshire, in the army. Never mind about holes in walls. We never even had a wall. And that was in November. One morning, they march us off for a shower. Well, the hot water in the camp was broken down. So we had to march three miles to another camp where they had got hot water. They'd never got us any lorries. We had to march there. So we're standing under these showers, eight o'clock on a November morning, and out comes the water. And it's cold as ice. Cold as ice? Oh. Colder, really. Anyway, never you mind about holes in walls. I saw the sign outside. Room to let. Better come in then. So you're looking for a room? Yes. But it must be cheap. Right. Come to the right place then. What's the room like? It's upstairs. No, no, it's just a room. Nothing special. I'm not the landlord. Does it have a table? Eh? Does a room have a table? Well, yeah, I think so. I don't know. But what's a table like? I don't know. It's just a table. But why don't you get the landlord to show you around? And you can have a look at the table as well. It's £30 a week, including electricity and gas. The toilet and bathroom just along the hall. It's a lovely little room. In actual fact, it's quite a big room. Did you want to help me with that? No, no. Thank you very much. Can 
not bad, eh? Not bad for 30 quid a week. The room's spotless. No creepy crawlies. Not like some of the places you look at nowadays. Blimey. Nope. This is a very nice room. There's plenty of space as well. Yes. I'll take it. Here's two weeks' rent in advance. If I only stay one week, you can keep the rest in lieu of notice. Um, I've no references, I'm afraid. I don't mind about that. Here, um, uh, what's your name? In case of, uh, letters or phone calls? There won't be any letters or calls. My name is Pressburger. Pressburger? <laughs> I used to know a Pressburger. He, uh, he worked for the Board of Trade as a clerk. Um, Malcolm Pressburger. No, 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 wait a minute. I'll get a case for you. Someone else. I'll take that, thank you. Amsterdam brings us to the end of programmes here on BBC One. Don't forget that Radios 1 and 2 continue to broadcast throughout the night. Meanwhile, on behalf of everyone here at Television Centre, this is Glenn Thompson wishing you a very good night.
tell me so soon. Go away. Go away. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. Did, did, did I wake you? Calm down. Calm down. Uh, what is it? I, uh, can, can I come into your room? I, I, I need to sit down. Uh, oh, well, yeah, all right. Yeah, but just calm down, all right? found me again. I can't believe how soon. I can't even escape it for one day. Where can I go? What can I do? Oh, my God. My God. I'm surrounded. Who's found you? What are you trying to run away from? Followed me from place to place. It used to take a few days to catch up with me. But now, oh my God, I don't know what to do. What do you mean, catch up with you? It used to take months to catch up with me in the beginning. The first time, it took about nine months, then six, then three, then just weeks. I kept moving. I went from one country to another. To get away from it. I kept moving. Canada, Mexico. Moving, moving all the time. And then finally back to England. All the time. But you're getting used to my scent. Living how my mind works. Where I'd go next. And all the time, I, I could just keep ahead of it. For less and less. And my thumbs were growing smaller and smaller. Last night, I was in Scotland. In a remote village. And tonight, I'm here in the south of England. And it found me. After one day. It found me. So now I think it's all over. Now it's all over. I know I left it on. God, I'm so tired. What does this spirit do? It destroys my possessions. All your possessions? No. Only things associated with the game of chess. I'm a chess player. It hates chess. <laughs> it's already destroyed all my books and papers, my beautiful notes. All that's left are the pieces in the board. Perhaps you think I'm mad. No. Thank you. I know I'm not mad. It started just after I'd beaten Kutset. That was about seven years ago. Perhaps you read about it. Well, no one had beaten him before, let alone someone so young. I'm afraid I'm not really into chess. Now, if you were, I think you'd have heard of me. I think I might be world champion now if it weren't for that thing. What does this thing look like? I don't know. I've never 
never seen it. You've never seen it? It only comes when I'm asleep. I've tried to stay awake night after night after night. It never comes. In the end, I, I have to sleep. And then it comes. It's here now. I must try and stay awake. Yeah, I'm so tired. But I dare not go to sleep. If I do, it will come. I'll tell you what. Why don't I go in your room and oh, keep an eye on it for you? You can stay in here if you like. I don't know if it would work. Well, why not? You said it, uh, you said it can't attack your chessboard if, if, if someone's watching. So I could go in there and, well, you could sleep in here. We'll do it. All right, we'll do it. You're a brave man, my friend. God will bless you. Say that too. No, no. Where am I going to go? Tomorrow. Oh, no. Just no. calm down. Tomorrow, no. tomorrow we'll get your doctor, right? No, you don't understand. Oh, oh no. You know, this is strange. Look, tomorrow we'll get you a doctor, okay? <laughs>
Hertzberger. Pressburger. Mr. Busto! Mr. Busto! Uh -huh.